Good day, beautiful people. I just left the mailbox. I was checking to see if my tubby tot came in the mail for my baby and it is not here yet. The sun is popping. Y'all, it's hot and I don't know why it's so hot. And I don't know why that sun's so bright. But yes, it's gonna be a really nice walk today. Try to get this over with because when I say hot, I mean almost 80 degrees hot. There are children out playing on the playground. There's an ice cream truck driving around. Like, it's a really nice day. I really hope y'all get out. Y'all find something to do. Enjoy your family. Get some errands done. Get a shopping done. You know, for the mommies with strollers, take a walk, take a jog. You know, take a stroll around the park or your neighborhood. Get some breath of fresh air. Let your children see the day of sunlight, okay? Get them outdoors, get them outside. Y'all find an activity to get into, some type of community type thing to get into. Don't just lay in the bed. I had to get out today because y'all, me and my family went to fried, the fried green tomato last night and sis ate, okay? I ate. And it was good. I ain't mad. Everybody deserves a, a treat every now and then. So that was my treat. And we're back on the health grind. Also, my surgery is going to come a week early. So I am going to be preparing my body for that. And I don't have a lot of time to do my grow with Joe. It's been so great doing my my daily walks and grow with joe y'all just do not understand like i'm about to have to have a whole nother surgery um so i had a c-section with my son and the myomectomy that they're going to do the procedure for my fibroid removal surgery is going to be cut in the very same cut is my cesarean cut so i have to go through all that healing all over again um, of course i'm going to document and record and talk about the beginning to the end y'all the nitty-gritty from even from what it is because what i'm learning is women especially black women why y'all so strong like i get it i i get it but y'all be so strong to where it's, even if the worst of the worst things are happening to you, you, you don't use your voice. You don't share your testimonies. It's almost like a, it happened. It's, it's just whatever, things happen. Things happen, you get over it, you keep pushing, you, you go to your jobs, you take care of your families and you just go through life silently. And that's a very unhealthy thing. And because of your experience, because of your expertise and your knowledge and certain things that you go through, please know that there's another mom, there's another woman, another black woman that needs to understand what what's happening to them. Because for instance, for me, I have a thousand questions for my doctor. It's almost like the doctors don't want you to go to Google. So you try not to go to Google because Google will scare the crap out of you. Y'all know. But then when you start asking questions, they be like, well, dang, what else you need to know? Everything, because people don't talk about stuff like this. So um, while I'm gonna be going through this, I'm going to be sharing literally everything that I know, everything that I'm about to learn so y'all can take better care of yourselves. And I'm gonna let you know right now, all the birth controls, all the hormonal changes, all the plan Bs, all the abortions, all the sex, all the unprotected sex, your hormone levels, all that stuff, the food you eat, the stress levels, the jobs y'all so desperately gotta work at, but they stress you the heck out to where your insides are like depleting, okay? You're begging for the spirit of infirmity to come inside of you and take over and try to take you out. Like, I'm going to be talking about all these things. 
And a lot of these things I could I could really legit like stand on and talk about because I've been through them. Except now I'm going through an aftermath. Something that you could overlook. I got a heavy period, so what? The period lasts two days longer, so what? I'm in excruciating pain. My doll won't help me. Okay, I gotta push through mentally. So what? No, stop so what in yourself. Stop it's okay in yourself. Go to the doctor and go get yourself checked out. Cause my mama, she tried to warn me. I told her a long time ago, Mom, my period hurt like crap. And she was like, You need to go to the doctor. You need to go. And I was like, nah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm strong. I can handle it. I'll just take a little extra mo medicine, hashtag drugs, and they'll fix it. I'll be all right. Shoulda listened, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Can't live in no shoulda, woulda, coulda bill. Now I have to have surgery. <laughs> ha 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 ha. The laugh's on me now, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna pray, we're gonna fast. We're gonna change our lifestyle habits. Um, my daily walks and my Grow With Joe will continue after my surgery and yeah everything's gonna be good everything's gonna be all well you know i know god got me and he's gonna protect me with my doctors in the operating room i ain't never been under no anesthesia to put you to sleep so that's new i'm gonna talk about that too but y'all y'all have a good one and so i'm gonna get some more of this vitamin d y'all please get out of the house today all right, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for rocking with me and listening. And I got so much to talk about, so much to say. I'm just getting comfortable. I'm really just getting started. Sis is starting to cook, okay? Cooking. Yes.